Hello everyone, I'm Nathan Ko and I'm doing a kind of an urgent recording because there's shocking news, some unfortunate news. The Supreme Court has voted to overturn abortion rights, overturn Roe v. Wade, uh, a majority draft opinion written by Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito has shown. Um, this majority draft opinion was leaked, and if that sounds unfamiliar to you, that's because it is. This is the first time in modern history of the court that something like this has happened in which like there was an internal leak of, of a pending court case opinion. Um, and obviously that's going to cause a lot of mistrust and questions regarding legitimacy in the Supreme Court. Um, now, the document that was leaked is people are, are saying that it's an authentic draft opinion by Justice Alito, of the experts who have read these drafts a lot of the times uh, can immediately see this and go, oh, this was something that's real. And it's something that, it's a draft that reflects what Justice Alito believes that at least five of the justices have now voted to support. So essentially it's a majority opinion and once it becomes official, which they're looking at probably sometime in June, um, Roe v. Wade is gonna be overruled Planned Parenthood v. Uh, Casey is probably going to be overruled, and you're going to see half of the states probably um, ban abortion. Yeah. Very unfortunate to see, as people are just going to go to more dangerous ways into conducting an abortion, only because the healthy, the safe ways are being banned. Um, it's regressive, it's frightening, but for anyone who has been looking at what's been happening with SCOTUS as of lately, looking at the ways in which the justices lean, it's not too shocking, but it's shocking that it's happening now. It's shock sh shocking that we're in this moment right now, that this is our peril. This is the fight. Um, if you were thinking about polarization and how half of the country is going against half of the country, this is it. Because you're going to see half of the states pass laws that restrict or ban abortions immediately on that day in June, if that, if that forbidden day comes. Which it looks like it's heading to that trajectory, though because of this leak, there's probably going to be a lot of social unrest, a lot of protests, um pressures on politicians to do something, pressure, pressures on the Supreme Court justices. I guess some of them can kind of change their mind and change their vote, though that seems bleak. What can be done is that the filibuster can be abolished and Democrats can work together and pass a huge law that would strengthen Roe v. Wade. The prospects of that, I have no clue to be honest with you. We'll look more into that as more reports come in and as more journalists ask critical politicians like Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Joe Manchin, Kristen Sinema, etc. But you're going to see social unrest. You're going to see people being upset because they should be. We're literally regressing. Uh, we thought we were going to go forward as time goes forward, but it looks like we're just regressing in terms of um, social rights for women, voting rights for minorities, it's a tough time. The health of the nation and the health of us are in peril, the two synonymous. And one and you could see this whole first draft, it's all published by Politico, all ninety eight pages of this first draft. It's all on Politico. You could see it from Justice Alito circulated February tenth, twenty twenty two. So it's been out there for some time. Um, one, if you look at this draft, which I haven't yet, but I've seen the key quotes of it, you could, you're going to be surprised by how blunt Justice Alito is about how he wants Roe v. Wade to be overturned and Casey to be overturned, Planned Parenthood v. Casey, which was a decision that really strengthened Roe v. Wade. Um, so Alito writes, Roe was egregiously wrong from the start. Alito also writes, um, we hold that Roe and Casey must be overruled. Very blunt first draft, very blunt. Um, it's unfortunate that this is happening. 
Um, this just came out. I just read about it. I'll do more research and I'll update you more about this on the future. Um, very emotional issue, so I don't want to dive into the politics too much at this point. Uh, but yeah, talk to your neighbors, talk to your friends, make sure that everyone's doing well because these are ha hard times. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks.